I'm back from vacation and with a vacation haul. Lots of you requested that I do do one, so I thought I would go ahead and go for it. I did a lot of shopping like before my vacation, during my vacation, and after. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys everything I got. Where I live, the shopping is like completely horrible to me. Like I never shop here. I go out of town to shop. But um, I was in the mall because I needed to pick something up and I came by this store. So anyways, my curiosity led me to this store called It's Fashion Metro in my local mall. And it didn't look like anything at all from the outside. But when I went in, I found some amazing deals. Like, amazing deals. The prices were so entirely cheap. Like, I almost had a hernia. Like, I was freaking out. I'm going to try and give you guys some of the prices with it so you can understand like why I was freaking out. I got two tube top uh, shirts and they're kind of like, <clears throat> am I saying this right? Hervé Leger inspired. Um, I got a gray one and I got a black one. I got these on clearance for $4.99. $4.99. $4.99. I also got these really cute um, sandals. They're flats, but they've got like a little buckle on them and they're a cute khaki color. This is one of the things I was most excited about. This is kind of like another Hervé Leger-esque inspired dress. It's like something you would see Kim Kardashian wear or something. And this is what it looks like. It's um, a Toby color. And it's got straps and it's like stretchy material so when you look at it it doesn't look like anything great but when you put it on it's like only got it for $7.99 $7.99 that's like unheard of I got this little bodycon skirt very cute $6.99 I got this is another one of those like bodycon like bandage type dresses and it's a pretty blue color um very pretty for spring so $17.99 you heard me I got another bandage dress it's black and it's got the sides out very very sexy the last thing I got from it's fashion metro is this um what would you consider this a romper it's like a romper um, and it's just this pretty blue color and it ties and this is what it looks like in the front and in the back. Um, this really reminds me of a romper that BB came out with. BB is pretty expensive. Y'all know how BB is. I think something like this at BB would probably be at least like $80. Uh, I got this one for $15.99. Yes, $15.99 for this gorgeous romper if you have one in your city and you haven't checked it out you need to holla no shopping trip is complete without a trip to mac i got some lip liners and one is a pro longwear lip pencil lip liner lip pencil same thing um in etc this is the color it's like a brown color i wanted like some nudish type colors that i could wear with a lot of different lipsticks um so I got etc. Um, this one's just a regular lip pencil. This is in Have to Have It. And it's like a rosy, pinkish, nudish kind of color. Also got um, a nail polish or nail lacquer as it says on here. This is in Play Day. And I'm not exactly sure what collection this was with. I think Chinmen or something like that. Um, but as soon as I saw this color, I was like, oh my god. Like, look at this color. That is so freaking gorgeous. It's like the perfect, like, pink coral color for spring. And I don't usually go for MAC um, nail polishes because they're like a million dollars. But this color, like, I just, I had to get it. And it's a cream finish. I also got this eyeshadow in... Cinderella and it's a baked eyeshadow in that amazing here's a swatch of it and you can't really see it but it shimmers it's so pretty the camera is not even doing this justice but this is just an amazing color and I had to have it 
So I also got a um, eyebrow pencil in Spiked. This is just a staple, the staple eyebrow pencil I use. I always run out of this like every couple months, so I have to stock back up. And I got this eyeshadow in, what color is this? Texture. And I got this as a blending color. Um, and I just got the little pan so I could stick it in um, my MAC palette or whatever. If you guys don't know what Back to MAC is, I'll do a video. Just leave your request below. But I had it back to MAC, and so I got this lipstick in um, Sis. This is what it looks like. It's just a pretty nude. I don't know why I'm, like, so obsessed with nudes now all of a sudden. Um, this is just a pretty, pretty nude color. And then I was also on the search for a really pretty um, highlight color. I already use Brulee a lot. But the lady um, at MAC suggested Naked Pigment, and she actually made me a sample of the Naked Pigment. This is actually a really good look because these samples last a really long time. You guys see that? I don't want to spill it all over, but um, it's just a shimmery highlight color. I um, did a review on the U, blah, 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 the U Spiral Curling Wand. I loved it. It was amazing. But I did get curious and I wanted to try the Remington. So I went ahead and bought the Remington Pearl um, Curling Wand. And it just looks like this. It's pink and it's ceramic and it comes with a glove, like a full glove. Um, and I actually really, really like this. So what I'm probably going to do is like a, re a full review on this and then um, do like a tutorial on how I do my hair with this. I broke down and got something from Jewel Mint. I know that y'all are probably so tired of hearing about Jewel Mint because of these videos people are doing, and I was too, but they sent me an offer in my email for like 70% off, so I was like, shoot, I'm gonna holla at that. And um, so I ended up getting this ring. It's called the Topaz Palace Dome Ring, and it looks like that. I think it is so gorgeous. This is what it looks like. And... I got 70% off, so I think it ended up only being like $8, so I was real happy about that. I went to Rue 21 um, before and during my vacation, um, and I got some really cute things. Some of them I've already worn, so I can't show them to you, um, but I'll show you what I can. I got these really, really cute um, nude wedges, and they're kind of tall, and they've got like the cork material. Um, but I really, really like these. I can wear them with a lot of stuff. And obviously wedges are in for the spring, so, okay. Another spring trend is the bright colored jeans, so I had to fall into that as well. So I got some red skinnies. They just look like this. Cannot wait to wear those. And then I also got some black skinnies. They're not bright, but I needed some. Like, I have no black pair of jeans, um, so. I got those. I have started shopping at Daily Look, which is a website that has like a different look every day. Um, and you can buy all the pieces on the model, all the um, clothes and jewelry and accessories and shoes and whatever. Anyways, I started shopping there and it's like my new obsession. Ooh, oh. I've ordered some more stuff from there already um, that's like on its way now, but I'm not going to wait. Like I couldn't wait to do this haul, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got now. Um, anyways, I got um, a few things from Daily Look. And the first thing I got was this gorgeous coral blazer. Oh my gosh. Like, I love blazers because they're so versatile. Like, I can wear them to work. I can wear them out, like, to chill. Um, and you can pair them up with a lot of stuff. I'm trying to put more bright colors in my wardrobe. So I saw this and had to have it. I also got these white jeans. Um... They're by Scarlet Boulevard. I don't know, like, the brands. Like, I guess the brands are, like, random brands or, like, boutique brands. I don't know. Anyways, um, I got these white jeans, and they've got the rips in them. Um, so they're, like, kind of distressed. And I have no white jeans for the spring or summer, so I got these. 